<laughs> the days of Udhiya approaching, decided to discuss a few important aspects regarding Udhiya. Firstly, what is Udhiya? The companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked him, "What is Udhiya?" He then replied, "It is a sunnah of your father Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasallam." They further inquired, "What is in it for us?" He then replied, for every hair on the animal you will be rewarded. They further inquired, and what if the animal has wool? Rasulullah replied, for every fiber of wool on the animal you will be rewarded. This narration is in Tirmidhi. So when should Udhiyah be done? Rasulullah has said, there is nothing dearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the days of Udhiyah than sacrificing of animals. The sacrifice animal shall come on the day of Qiyamah with its horns, hair and hoofs. The sacrifice is accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before the blood reaches the ground. The days the sacrifice takes place is namely the 10th, 11th and 12th of Zul Hijjah. Sacrificing commences after the Eid Salah has terminated in the city and can be concluded on the 12th of Zul Hijjah before sunset. As for the Shafi'i viewers, you have until the sunset of the 13th of Dhul Hijjah to slaughter. The most preferred day to slaughter is on the 10th of Dhul Hijjah, thereafter the 11th and then the 12th. When slaughtering of the animal, one has to try and do it in the most perfect manner because our beloved Prophet وسلم, has commanded us and when you slaughter, slaughter in the best of manners. So when slaughtering the animal, one should make sure that the animal being slaughtered is not seen by animals that are not being slaughtered and the instrument that is being used to slaughter the animal is not seen by the animal that is going to be slaughtered. Preferably for a sheep a 25 centimeter knife should be used and for cattle a 30 to 35 centimeter knife should be used. The slaughter usually takes place between the neck and the chest. However there are four important veins and pipes that have to be severed for the animal to be deemed halal. The two jugular veins, the windpipe and the food pipe. If any three of these four veins are slaughtered, then the animal is deemed halal. When slaughtering the animal, one should recite the dua, Inni wajjahtu wajhiya lilladhi fatara samawati wal arda hanifan wa ma ana minal mushrikeen. Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mamati lillahi rabbil alameen. La sharika lahu wa bithalika umirtu wa ana awalul muslimin. Allahumma minka walak. Bismillahi Allahu Akbar. This is the dua Ibrahim alayhi salam read at the time when he was commanded to sacrifice his son. After terminating the slaughter, one should recite the dua, Allahumma taqabbal minni kama taqabbalta min habibika Muhammad wa khalilika Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam. Thereafter, one should see that the animal has no life left in it. Then one can commence skinning the animal. After skinning the animal, one should try and leave the animal to hang for a little while so all the blood and excess can drop out from it. We are advised to separate the animal into three parts. One third for oneself, one third for one's family and one third for the poor. However, this is not a compulsory act, however it is desirable to do so. If one feels that one wants to eat the animal completely, then one can eat the animal completely himself. If one feels he wants to distribute the animal completely, one can distribute the animal completely. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our sacrifices and grant us the ability to carry out in the most perfect way.